Dragon Sword and Aya Shurikens. Next fight coming up is going to be a bunch of archers. So like I said, skip those two chests that are there. <coughs> Open this door. Restock your arrows because you can. Now I've got the wind blades equipped. Run all the way down here. The archers are going to fight. Hold block and just hit here for a little bit to let them spawn. And if you do, they're always going to spawn in the same spots. And go ahead and use your wind tempo if you want. You really didn't do too much here. Make sure you do your flying swallows because you'll actually kill them. Uh, be careful to zoom drops so they can knock you out of them. Start throwing shurikens, guillotine throw, and start OTing people. Stay away from that hallway because you get sniped by more archers. And just take them out quickly. And use the wind blades. That was a wall jump X right there. Use wind blades to your advantage. Use incendiary shurikens. Now, when they're running up at you, they're always going to do that cartwheel, so make sure you jump back and then wind path over their heads. Got a lot of blue essence. Now, I'm going to show you this chest right here. Don't refill your Nimpo. I wasn't thinking and I actually used it. It contains one red orb, but it's a dynamic chest, so if you have a full Nimpo meter, then it's going to give you a mushroom, and if you have your mushrooms maxed out, it's going to give you 6,000 essence. So ignore what I just did there. Do not use that chest. I'll show you when a better time to use it is. Let's save and get ready for the next fight. Okay, now let's switch over to the Lunar, regular shurikens. Actually, I forgot about the needing to use arrows, so let's switch back over to the arrows. Now I'm going to run over here. I'm gonna, oh, I, these doors can get frustrating sometimes. Okay, I'm going to use auto-aim, and it's going to aim the wrong barrel. I didn't pick up on it, but that's okay. I got to refill my arrows, and then I realized that that barrel was wrong, so let's take care of these. There we go. Okay, this next fight coming up is going to be two IS ninjas. It's actually pretty easy. And then we're going to come one at a time, get regular shurikens, stand right at the base, wind path, and an outlining charge. We'll do a daily charge of UT and we'll hit them. Now, this UT will almost never kill them, but it'll delim them. So, what you want to do is just go up, and I'm trying to do an OT. Okay. There we go. Ah, I got my OT in. Okay, this next one is kind of strange. This ninja comes way up from afar. And he can actually surprise you if you're not looking for him. So let's take care of him. Let's take, there we go. Okay, now watch this. Love this. Ah, that teaches him a lesson. Okay, next fight, dogs. Do a quick jump and online in charge. Should have enough time to charge at UT. Now I'm going to use the wind blades and info on a little bit coming up. And it hits zero, so I didn't do any squat. Probably a better thing to do is use it if you actually need to. Otherwise, just jump. Toss shurikens and do online 360 UTs, ETs. Now, a nice thing about the level 3 lunge, you kill the dogs a lot faster, so this fight goes a lot easier. And you can see I just killed at least two right there. Now I've got, killed two more, so now I've got my SA staggered. The rest of the fight should be pretty simple, assuming my UTs hit. Now, the weird thing is, these dogs come from a long distance, so just when you think all the dogs are gone, there's gonna be more sneaking up on you. The main thing I'm doing is I'm going to be jumping, tossing shuriken so I can locate dogs off screen. There's one. There we go. Okay, let's attack him. Okay, he's gone. Let's see, are there any more dogs? Yep, there's that one over there. That one is always there. He always gets stuck there. But there should be more dogs, and they haven't gotten to me yet, so let's just take out this guy. But always be listening to the back for more dogs coming up, and be prepared to hold block right away. So... Gonna hit the light post. Let's try this again. Even with the red dot, I can't even that bow. Okay, I can hear that guy coming, so I hit block right away. Take care of him. He should be the last guy. Okay, now I'm gonna go back down and save because I wanna equip the dragon sword and have a little bit more fun with mages. So equip the dragon sword, regular shurikens. Next fight's gonna be pretty simple. Alright, on to the next fight, which is a bunch of mages. Love fighting mages. They're very predictable, they're easily damaged, they don't block too much, and by manipulating the camera if you want, you can even keep the projectiles down to a minimum. So you start off here with a Gleaming Blade UT, but unfortunately spawned too far from me and got nailed for us. So watch that. You can actually do a Gleaming Blade into an Azuma Drop if you want. Now you notice I'm missing some of the combos, so I'm sure I can cancel them and going into a different combo. Ah, love that. Okay, let's do zoom in. Ah, look at that. 
shuriken sure are so much fun to use to cancel the combos. Watch this flying sword right through the the fire. Take advantage of the eye frame of the flying swallow. Now always be keep a corner of your eye out for mages that are gonna be spawning their magic and just watch out for it. And always be moving or flying swallow through it or doing some move with the uh, eye frame. Okay. That guy's so for general strategy for the mages, use whatever you feel comfortable with, Claws, Flying Swallow, Zuna Drop, or the Lunar, or the Dragon Sword. They're not too challenging. These guys, use your environment to your advantage. Look at all those walls. It's hard not to get team throw these guys into the wall. Um, so there we go. Take care of this guy. I thought I had, didn't kill that other guy, but I was wrong. You can also use the all the corners to your advantage. And see if that UT, if you watch it very closely, I directed it away from one of the IS ninjas. I just wanted to spread the damage around, which is a lot of these guys. There we go. Great way to beat these guys. I'm going to try an OT by miss, so that was a counter Y right there. You can actually go into an Azuna drop with a counter Y, or even go back into on land. There's a counter X. Actually, it's a counter XX and then Y, OT. Makes it easy. There's a body right there with an herb on it, and since I maxed out, I just go ahead and use one. So there's one of your free herbs for the chapter. Okay, now there's going to be one more set of IS ninjas. You can see everything starts going well until I, quote, decide to go to plan B, end quote, and then we will take out, there we go, Gleaming Blade introduces a drop. Love that move. One of my favorite moves, and I'll probably do one more of it. Okay, now these guys aren't really, they don't really swarm me nearly as much. That was a forward Y into an online gleaming blade. There's an X hold Y, shuriken, then X plus A, Y to the flying swallow. If you flying swallow these guys in mid-air, you almost always cut them in half and do a quick kill. Okay, there we go. Plan B. Miss guillotine throw. About time. Oh, TM. Okay, these guys are just about dead. You'd think they'd learn from doing this to me, but apparently not. Oh, that's okay. And again, these guys guillotine throw them. Flying Swallow Zuna drop with the claws. Okay, behind this barrel is going to be a chest full of red orbs that will completely refill your Nimpo meter. And of course, I forgot about that when I used that other chest, that dynamic chest. That barrel that I just, or that chest I just used is not a dynamic chest. So it's always going to have red orbs. Let's save and go on. Okay, let's go collect the dynamic chest. Now, if I wouldn't have used that one red orb chest, it was a dynamic chest, so it would have given me either 6,000 in essence, or it would give me a mushroom. If you need a mushroom, it's going to give you a mushroom. If you're maxed out in mushrooms and your nimpo meter's maxed out, it's going to give you 6,000 in essence. Now, I'm maxed out in herbs, so these two chests are going to give me 5,000 in essence. But if you need herbs, this is a free and easy way to get herbs. So right now I've shown you a total, a way to get three herbs, because this chest is going to have either another herb. So that's three herbs and one mushroom, free of charge. Easy to do, just make sure 